you can display multiple sets of data on the same graph using two different methods. In the first method, we use the hold on command. So in this example, we have x having the values of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. y1 has the values of x squared plus 1. And y2 has the values of x plus 2. We can plot y1 versus x with the plot command and using this particular formatting. Then, if we want to overlay y2 versus x, we say hold on. Then we issue another plot command where we plot y2 versus x, and in this case I chose a different format than uh, for the y1 versus x plot. When we're done plotting all the different sets of data, we say hold off, and that will display the plot on the screen. We also could use one plot function. So we have the same values for x, y1, and y2, but now we only issue one plot command. We say y1 versus x with this particular formatting, and then we say the x values and y values of the second set of data with whatever format that we choose. If the same x values are used for multiple sets of data, as we have in this case, because y2 and y1 are both being plotted versus x, we can lump all of the y values into a single array. So here we have the same values for x, y1, and y2. Each set of y values is put into its own row and stored in a, and then we can simply say plot x comma a. When plotting multiple sets of data, it is often very useful to have a legend to help the user know which line is associated with which set of uh, data. So here we have again x, y1, and y2 having the same values. We can plot y1 versus x and y2 versus x using a single plot command. And then we can use the legend function. The first text string, y1 vowels, is associated with the y1 versus x plot. The second text string is associated with the second set of data, y2 versus x. In this example, we create three sets of data. We first create our x values, then we have y is equal to x squared, w is equal to x plus 2, t is equal to the square root of x. And so we can plot y versus x with a solid line with x at all the data points, and it'll be a red line. Then we say hold on because we still have to plot the y and t values. So we issue another plot command with x and w, and we're going to have solid lines, circles at all the data points, and it will be a blue line. Then we still say hold on because we still have to plot t. So we plot x and t with a solid line, exit all the data points, and it will be a green line. We're done plotting all our data, we can say hold off. And we can add a legend. So the text yval will be associated with the first item that's been plotted. wval will be associated with the second item that is plotted, and tval will be associated with a third item that is plotted. And so we see we get a red line for w, a blue one for, I'm sorry, a red line for y, a blue line for w, and a green line for t.